Hey guys, just a quick context note here. I was visiting Pure Fidelity at the Exponent Hi-Fi show in Chicago because if you remember from my previous video on my reference analog system, I am currently using their turntable in my personal system this year. And if you want to know why, go check out my previous video on that. But these guys always make gorgeous looking turntables and I was asked to come down to two of their rooms at Expona because two things. One, they wanted me to listen to the Enterprise Origin Live tone arm in one of their setups in the rooms, which is two steps above the Origin tone arm I am currently using in my setup. Yes, the upgrade bug is pretty real. Number two, they said they have an exciting new tone arm that they wanted to explain to me and my viewers. So I'm definitely really excited about this, but since this is an exclusive cover series, I'll let John talk and I will have my impressions of these rooms as well as the other rooms at Expona in my later overview video of the entire Expona show that's coming up sometime next week. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a really good one. This exclusive message at Expona is brought to you by Pure Fidelity. So this is our Harmony uh, Mark II, uh, shown here in the quilted maple finish, which is a very popular finish for us. Over the years, it's been probably three years between the Mark I and the Mark II, or maybe close to four years. There's been lots of incremental changes, but it wasn't until we added our new conductor speed controller at that point, because that was a radical change, a radical improvement. At that point, that's when we started using the designation the Mark II. This tone arm that, w that we're showing you here today, this is our top of the line tone arm. It's made by Origin Live in the UK. It's called the Enterprise. Um, what I really like about Origin Live arms is they have a, they're a very natural sounding tone arm line. Um, they make many models. They have about eight models. We focus on the sort of the, we started the Zephyr, which is actually their third there's still three models below the Zephyr. And then uh, we end up with the Enterprise, which is a fantastic arm. Yeah, one of the reasons we uh, chose Origin Live is it has amazing synergy with our table. Um, I've heard many really exceptional arms that sound great on other tables. And when they sound on our table, they, they were nice, but nothing to, sometimes you just can't really explain synergy, but it's, but it's a real thing, and Origin Live just is a brilliant match to our tables. One of the differences you get as you, as you go up the, up the ladder with the Origin Live, although they have a kind of a house sound, uh, the material choices and the, that they make, um, things have tighter tolerances. Like for instance, the arm tube um, is a special makeup of, I think it's got four or five different materials in it. Bit of a proprietary thing they don't they don't actually share with me what it is uh, the main the main component of it is is carbon fiber of course um, they just have better bearings better tighter tolerances um, the one significant difference as well on this arm once you get into the enterprise and above their arms uh, they they're, all the cables are din connections so if you have your own favorite cable or you want to, you know, cable swap and just experiment with that. And on the arm is our uh, Stratos uh, moving coil cartridge. Um, it's a quite an easy load. It's 0.5 millivolt output. So um, anywhere from about 58 dB is going to be plenty of, of gain for it. Um, it's, it's, it's a great cartridge. It's done extremely well for us. Everything we do, we try to be very natural sounding. Um, and it, but it's, it's also very lively. Um, we're very excited about this cartridge, and we've, we've, we've done very well with them. You should know, Jay, you have one on your, on your table. So this is a brand new tone arm we're introducing at Expona 2024. It's called the Savant. It's available now, although it's not, unfortunately, it's not on our website yet. Just look out for it in the next uh, two weeks or so. Um, 
This, is, this arm's made for us by Audio Origami out of Scotland. Um, you, you probably know Audio Origami from their PU7, which is a, it's almost got like a cult following um, as an arm that people commonly use on LP12s. Um, so we've had this heavily modified and built to our specs and uh, we're very excited about it. One of the things that's, that kind of stand, what makes it stand out is, you know, our philosophy of sort of set and forget our tables. Um, this is very much that way. It's really easy to set up. You set it and forget it. You know, three really important parts of this arm, which I think makes it very unique. Uh, first off, the counterweight. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a threaded counterweight and we, we insert a, an O-ring internally in the counterweight. So it has a very deliberate turn, but it's, it's not a, you don't, it's not just sort of whipping around. It just turns very precise. So because of that, once you get it to the exact tracking weight you want, you just leave it. There's no grub screw or anything. It's very simple, but very effective. The other thing is the anti-skating. Um, it's done a little bit differently than some of the other brands, um, but it's very effective and it's incredibly easy to adjust. But then finally, the thing I think that we're most excited about, if you ever have to adjust azimuths, there's two little grub screws here on the inside the bearing housing, and you literally can just twist it to get to the exact amount, and then you cinch them up. The way you test that, we have a little tiny bubble level. When you put it on the record, it just, when, it, when it's centered both for, for height and for azimuth, the, it's in the center of the bubble, and it, it, it really is simple. You can be up and running in five minutes. They also, their DIN connect, all their, all their arms are DIN connect. And so again, like the Enterprise, um, we supply it with a very good um, external cable made by Wireworld. But, but if you want, you can, you can do your own cable. Everybody has their kind of favorite cable or, or like to experiment with cables to find just the right sound. So um, we, like I said, we've just introduced it, but we're very excited and we, we expect big things out of this arm. Mm -hmm.